Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Today I want to discuss about the reflectance, how we can adjust the a reflectance, change the reflectance in a lighting software. Uh, in this case, we talk about the dialogues. So we have um, two easy way how do you change the reflectance. And principle, um, when we have high reflectance of the walls, ceiling and floor, it helps because more, let's say bright materials will um, help us to reflect more light and therefore not absorb so much artificial light and will help us to obtain a higher lux level. Opposite, when you have low reflectance of the surfaces, then uh, you will need more output related from the uh, artificial light to compensate the absorption of the artificial light and with a, as well a lack of reflectance from the, from the surfaces and as well is valid uh, this statement as well for the furniture which you will use in uh, in a space so for first step change the reflectance you need to go on the construction and under the construction you have change reflectance of room surfaces um, by default the ceiling will be 70 walls are 50 and floor uh, 20 percent so here is the fast easy way how to to change the reflectances manually you click apply and then you, you need to run new lighting calculation um, to have to have the to have the the correct let's say um, light level once again so in this case by by changing all the reflectance you see that we have um, here we can put let's say 90 if I put 50, 60, for example, and yeah, we'll change apply and then everything will be changed very, very, very fast. Uh, or you can just discard and then you have back the, the same uh, reflectance, uh, which we save early on. So that's the easiest way. Um, the second way you can do by apply reflectance to a surface and or create textures in this case you need to import if you have saved on your desktop a material and you want to place i don't know for a painting uh, or uh, yeah a different texture of the walls you can do that the same for the valid for the um, for the floor and here it's uh, also we can uh, go on the second way so you, you have a uh, active material then you have the catalogs and you have the material catalog and also the color catalog on the material catalog for example you go on indoor and then you choose for example the floors if you have the tiles you just apply it and then all this it's it's set up there um, so we go back and on the tiles you see reflection factor is 62 reflective coating eight percent so that's very easy how you find on the material the same just drag and drop easily you change with a different uh, material tile square white and here the reflection factor will be 76 let's go now on the color material here it's easy from yellow orange blue green brown black and white and then you just choose which color you want you can apply as well or just drag and drop to the to the wall ceiling so and then when you click on the wall you see reflection 85 percent the other one 85 and now when we go to the floor you have it so that's that's a very easy let's say way how you can change reflectance in dialogues as mentioned this one is the easier just manually you introduce without um changing uh, orientated to the color material or uh, the second uh, catalog as I said here material or color so these are let's say more advanced I would say or it's predefined by you you have a structure which you, imp you import in the looks then you can apply in this way so I hope that this information helps you in uh, establishing the reflectance for the surfaces uh, for your room and as well for the furniture which you are using uh, and as i said it's very important when you determine the lux level uh, and you do the lighting calculation and after you set up 
of course the reflectance for your space you just click start calculation for the lighting design and then you'll have the results uh, of that simulation so if you find this information helpful, please give a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until my next video i wish you all the best have a good day bye bye